Hi everyone, this is Imran. Today in this video training, I will show you how you can easily create and display a product table in your WooCommerce based e-commerce website. Well friends, let me show you the demo table we are going to create. Here it is, here you can see a demo table that we are going to create today. Let me scroll down. Here you can see pagination and we can do this using the free version of the plugin. And here you can see the search option. And here you can see you can search individually any column. You can just sort by name. You can sort the product by categories, by date, by price. And if you want, you can hide or display any of this column. And here you can see show 10, you can show 50. Okay, so we can do this very easily. And watch this video till the end to get this job done. So let's get to be started. Here I'm on the dashboard of my demo website and I'm going to install a plugin in this step. Here goes the plugin I'm going to use. Just I'm going to get the name. And again in the dashboard, navigate to plugins and click on add new. And here goes the plugin search box. I'm going to search for WooCommerce product table. And I'm going to install this plugin. And this is our expected plugin, WooCommerce product table by UBU. I'm going to click here on this install now button. Now click activate. Okay, here you can see the plugin is installed and activated. You can access the settings clicking this link. And in the bottom here you can see a new menu product tables. It has three sub menus add new table, show all tables and settings. I'm going to click on add new table and I'll jump to the settings later. Just click over here, add new table. So now we are going to create a table. And here you can see create a new table and enter table name. I'm going to name the table WPT that means WooCommerce product table. And here you can see create table. Just click on it. Now we are here. From here we can configure our table and you can see table name and here goes short code that we will use to display the product table like this. Okay. So now we are going to add everything step by step. Firstly here you can see content. So we are going to add content. Here if you see under columns select the properties you would like to add to the table. In this table, we have thumbnail, name, categories, date, price and buy. So if you would like to add all of this and here you can see by default it added thumbnail that means the image of the product, name, the title of the product, category, date and price. But if you click on this drop down icon, you will see rest of the fields that comes with our WooCommerce product. Here you can see SKU. If you would like to add or display the SKU, you can do that. If you want, you can just add the rating. Okay. So I think I'm going to add just uh, buy. Okay. That means add to cart button. Then buy is selected. Now on the right here, you can see a little button add. Just click on it and instantly it will be appeared here. Okay. And again, if you would like to show ratings, just click add and that will be here. And one thing that is very interesting, you can just click over here and hold it, drag and drop. You can reorder the position of any property. Okay. Say for example, you would like to bring rating after price. Okay. Just click over here, drag it and drop here. And this is not all. Here you can see a pencil icon if you click on it and you can just change the custom name. Okay, I'm going to name it title. And you can set the column width. Here you can see this is the column and you can 
just set the column width also okay um, i'll do that later or you can do it yourself there are some options you can hide this column on a small screen say for example if any visitor comes on mobile screen or check your website on mobile screen or tablet you can hide any column that is not important say for example the date you can hide it so hide on a small screen but the title is very important we don't need to hide on a small screen or you can show only on a small screen you can cut the product title text say for example this title is long bright gold parts with chain but you can easily cut to any specific word like 50 words or characters show parent title for product variation open link on a new window disable sorting on this column okay just pretty simple options i think you can check all the box and you can just see the result okay i'm going to uncheck it and click on change and here you can see name now but again check it and it is title because i didn't select this okay select title and hit change and now it is title okay and if you don't need any of this just click on the bin button here you can see then it will be removed and don't forget to hit the save button okay and now first option is done we have added our properties now add content to the table here you can see all the products these are the content of the product okay and here you can see all products just click on it and you will see this pop up once again just select here click on this select all button and all the products will be selected and here you can see add selected product to the table okay just click on it and now here you can see the content okay so here we have two step just add the properties and add content to the table so again i'm going to hit save and before i move to the settings i would like to display the table that will help us to configure or work with the setting options now i'm going to display the table or use the shortcode to display the table i'm going to select it and copy the shortcode now i'm going to create a page and display that just go over pages and all pages and click on add new just open in a new tab i'm going to name it product table and here you can see publish button hit publish and here you can see a black sign you can click over here and search for short code and here it is click on it and now in this box just paste the short code okay and again hit update and here we'll see view page just click on it and see the page now here you can see the beautiful product table if i scroll down okay we see a lot of products but moving to the setting options we can decide how many products we would like to display or whether we want the pagination here or whether we want the sorting option here like the demo table here you can see we can sort by name by categories okay so get back to the dashboard again and here you can see on the right settings now this time we are gonna work with the settings just click on it and here you can see the settings and on the right the display okay here you can see caption you can add caption you can add description you can show header and you can make the header fixed and if you want you can add footer here you can see footer and if i okay here you can see it's gone and you can add signature and here goes the date format just you can choose the date format and time style okay and 
table information you can show the table information you can use pre-sorting okay and you can enable the font and sorting and here goes the pagination that i talked about earlier here you can see pagination i'm going to enable pagination and per page product 10 or 20 whatever you want here you can see per page it shows 10 okay and you can display 20 or 50 30 any number and searching option just enable it and then the visitor will be able to search product here and you can enable search by column here you can see search by column i'm going to enable search by column and the position will be top okay and there are some other options you can show the print option here you can see print button but it's not essential and you can hide the out of stock items you can show the private product okay and card pop-up position top right okay and here goes some options that are available in the pro version and you can hide the quantity input and let's talk about the appearance here you can see fixed table width or any width you want you can just set the width by pixel okay here you can see 100 pixel you can set it to 800 pixel it's loading here it is but i like to be 100 percent and here goes the thumbnail image size here it is and you can set any image size that suits your need and here you can see mobile screen and force responsive mode row strip and highlight by mouse hover effect here you can see if i hover over it gets highlighted and you can enable it you can highlight the sorted column you can add border by cell or border by row okay you can you get a lot of setting options here under text you can just change the label of search of anything anything okay pretty fantastic and this is not end on the right here you can see css you can add custom css you can add custom js here okay so another option is here settings just click on it and here goes to setting options send users statistics i'm not going to do that so just ignore it and again go to all table here it is and click on the pencil icon to edit the existing table here it is okay we are almost done and hit save and again i'm going to get back to the menu and click on settings and here you will see the same setting options okay so now if you would like to create multiple tables just again click here add new table and just type the name of the table and follow the steps i showed you okay so before i close or stop this video i'm going to show you the product table again just i'm going to refresh this page and here it is we can search by title okay i'm going to search d-a-r-k hit enter and here goes dark or product name that contains dark okay again d-n-k and here you see all the product contains d-n-k live search so i found this plugin very helpful and uh, it will work best okay anyone can add click here to add to cart and they can check the view card all the settings starts here so friends if this video helped you then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel to get more useful videos on web technologies so thank you for watching and goodbye.